Just like a Quest. what? Just a random game or? Best of three. Best of... It's best of. Best of three. All right. So is this like the finals or the semifinals? What is this? The first game and the finals. It's your it's your come coming back your the return of the archon the Christ. return of the archon all right well here we are guys we are live we're just getting ready to start on Delta Quadrant it is Thy Tombstone versus Groove Monkey best out of three just waiting for both players to load in the game so here we are we are on Delta Quadrant I'm gonna go ahead and do my awesome GSL introduction so in the bottom left hand corner we have our teal Protoss player Thy Tombstone and in the top right hand corner of the map we have our Green Terran player, Groove Monkey. So anyways, both players just going ahead and getting some probes and SCVs. And we're going to go ahead and see what they're doing. Going to pull up the production tab. And wait. So anyways, Delta Quadrant, a very large map. Uh, a lot of ground to cover. A large walking distance between both players. Uh, pretty, pretty difficult choke points to control. But still plenty of room for armies to move through and harass. So Thy Tombstone going ahead and placing a pylon, and he is not going to 9 pylon scout. He's going to go right back to nothing. This probe sitting idle. Oh, we have a gas before we even have a gateway. This is very interesting. I've never seen this done before on StarCraft. I think both of these players are bronze. I'm not entirely sure. So Thy Tombstone just doing a little bit of probe dancing while he waits to place down his gateway. So gas is now done for that tombstone, and there goes the gateway. Oh no, we have a forge! Hmm, this is going to be interesting. I think we're going to see a forge up, and then possibly a four-gate transition, if you can do that. So anyways, Groove Monkey going ahead and putting down his first Rax, uh, and now he's already set out to scout. Now he's going to go ahead and put this thing on auto-move. So now he's going to go ahead and scout thy tombstone at the next location which they are at the cross map position from each other. Groove Monkey, Monkey going ahead and grabbing his refinery now and starting to harvest some gas. Thy, thy Tombstone is now heading out. I don't know what he plans to do, if he's going to put down a cannon or what. Groove Monkey just walking through the mineral line of Thy Tombstone and now he's looking at this forge and he's waiting to see what that what thy tombstone is going to do thy tombstone is really really keeping an eye on this SCV in his base and he is going to put down two forge or two cannons to defend his base groove monkey going to allow this SCV to get destroyed oh but he does get out with only 10 hp left Groove Monkey gonna run for his life and try and save that SCV. So now let's go ahead and head over to Groove Monkey's base. Groove Monkey is going for a factory now, and he does have two Marines out. His front gate is blocked off with two supply depots and a barracks, which is a pretty standard block off, if you ask me. Groove Monkey is killing the scouting probe that was heading right back for Groove Monkey's base. Factory almost done for Groove Monkey right now. And Thy Tombstone calling a GG already. Groove Monkey, not sure why. In fact, I'm not sure either. We do have two gateways coming down for Thy Tombstone. Groove Monkey has a starport and he has a tech lab coming down. So we're going to go ahead and see Banshee pushes from Groove Monkey. He's going to do a tech swap between this factory and this starboard. Cybernetics Core is finally coming down for Thy Tombstone, along with two, three additional gateways. So we do have a five gate for Thy Tombstone. And we have plus one upgrades as well. Thy Tombstone does have quite a bit of gas, so he will be able to support quite a few stalkers at this point. And now he's putting down a second forge. This is probably one of the strangest and here comes the second gas. Cyber Next Core is done. We do have warp gate technology coming down, and it is being chrono boosted. 
Plus one upgrade for attack is a quarter of the way done for the high tombstone. Anyways, back here at Groove Monkey's base, we do have a medevac coming out. Kind of surprising. Oh, and we have the pre-igniters being researched right now, so we're going to see some Blue Flame Hellion play. Groove Monkey going to go ahead and harass with the Blue Flame Hellion drop into the mineral line of thy tombstone, who is now researching ground armor level 1. So thy tombstone is trying to get a lot of macro covered early in the game with zero units on the playing field right now. Although both players don't have that many units, Groove Monkey is ahead right now, and he is getting siege tanks out. Groove Monkey going to go ahead and move out now with this medevac. He is going to avoid the Zelnaga Tower because we do have control of the Zelnaga. Oh, no, Groove Monkey does have control of the Zelnaga, so he really didn't have to worry about that. But nonetheless, Groove Monkey not taking any chances. He is going to go ahead and move south and then over to the left of the map. My left, that is. Siege mode now being researched by Groove Monkey. And now his medevac is sitting idle. I think that the medevac pilot is taking a break. Maybe she needed a moment and she's chewing it over with Twix. I don't know. But anyways, let's go back to Groove Monkey's base and see what's going on. Siege mode is halfway done for Groove Monkey right now. And he is going to go ahead and make an expansion now. So we will have a, nah, I wouldn't say very fast expansion, but it is eight minutes into the game. So now is a very good time to expand. Groove Monkey not seeing any aggression. So he's taking this opportunity to expand. Groove Monkey pushing out with a siege tank and some marines. Almost losing the siege tank. Cannons are going to put the hurt on Groove Monkey's forces right now. Groove Monkey going to pull back and wait for Siege Mode to complete, and then maybe he'll make a push. Thy Tombstone does have... Oh, we did! We have the Blue Flame drop for Groove Monkey, and he has gotten almost all the probes of Thy Tombstone. Thy Tombstone not even attempting to pull the probes out because he knew they'd just get destroyed. So Thy Tombstone calling GG for real, and that is game over, folks. So, a uh, well played by both players. Thine Tombstone going with a fairly unusual build. I'm sure it probably could have been successful had he not lost all his probes to that Hellion drop. Groove Monkey throwing up some unusual faces. Alrighty. Well, I am going to go ahead and mute my mic here for a second, folks. If I can find out where to do that, which I can't, I have no idea. What, oh, I do have a mute button on my microphone, but that's not what I'm trying to do. So I'm sitting here looking like an idiot trying to mute my microphone from the Procasting live stream without completely shutting off my microphone. All right. Well, I'm just going to bear with it. So anyways, we do have two rounds left. I'm going to go ahead and ask a question here really quick. So, Rakana Doc, is this the Monday Massive, or what is this? Rakana Doc. Uh, I actually... Hey, I, sorry, I had the sound muted because I was watching the cast. Oh, that's okay. So, what is it? Yeah, that, that was fun, though. I'm definitely going to post that somewhere. All right. Was that just kind of a random one-versus-one one thing, or is that, like, actually a tournament? It wasn't actually a tournament. It was a random one v one thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of like to old. Shame on you. I'm still recording, too, which is funny. Oh, we're going to do this on a... Team Liquid map now. All right. Well, at least this will be the second match, so it won't be completely wasted time. <laughs> Best out of three, so here we go, round two. All right, folks, so here we are doing a random one versus one thing, apparently, from Rakana Doc. Uh, we are going to be playing on a Team Liquid map now called Crevasse. So we do have Groove Monkey versus Thy Tombstone. It is going to be best out of three. Groove Monkey did take the win for round one on Delta Quadrant. 
So here we are on Crevasse. This is a Team Liquid map. So I'm going to go ahead and do my GSL intro, folks. So in the top left-hand corner of the map, we have our green Terran player, Groove Monkey. And in the top right-hand corner of the map, we have our blue Terran player, Thy Tombstone. So Groove Monkey saying he's never played this map. I don't know if this will handicap him from the beginning. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, another large map that we're playing on here, it is a four-player map. And there's plenty of walking distance if you're in the cross map position. But luckily, both players are still fairly close, but not all that close. Not as close as if you're on the Shattered Temple. So that Tombstone going to head out with a scout right now. He wants to know exactly where his enemy is going to be at. And no, he's going to the middle location of the map. I don't know where this SUV is headed. Oh, it's heading down to the bottom right-hand corner of the map. I guess he wants to see where he's at, and he's going to go ahead and do it that way. So Groove Monkey throwing down a Supply Depot right now. Same for Thy Tombstone. Thy Tombstone was Protoss last time, but this time he did get Terran. So I'd like to see how well he is at macroing Terran. Groove Monkey probably going to have a little bit of an advantage right now. Thy Tombstone does get his barracks down. Groove Monkey going to go ahead and wall off his first entrance here. So Groove Monkey has scouted where Thy Tombstone's base is located. Thy, thy Tombstone is putting down two supply depots. Generally not a good idea for an opener. You want to generally make two barracks and a supply depot and just kind of push a couple marines and then get tech labs and whatnot. But Oh, and we do have Thy Tombstone's SCV is stuck on the wall. Well, he was stuck on the wall. Now he's just playing stuck. Biden Tombstone just now getting that supply depot down so he can get his SV back to mining or building refineries. I'm not sure which. So Thy Tombstone just now going to get his refinery down. Groove Monkey going to go ahead and grab an Orbital Command. Yeah, I've never really understand this. SCVs are in an armored carapace right now. Like a mechanical suit. And yet when they get shot, they still have blood squirt out. I just don't understand it. Maybe it's hydraulic fluid. Maybe I'm just crazy. So anyways, Groove Monkey not going to allow that SCV to take down his barrier. Which he did quite a bit of damage, surprisingly. He did a whole 60 damage to that barrier wall over time. Not too bad for an SCV. But I think his servos wore out and that was what caused him to die. So anyways, Die Tombstone is running off of one gas, and he is grabbing minerals. No Orbital Command as of yet. He's going to go ahead and fast expand. Groove Monkey going to push out with three Marines now. This map does make for a very long walking distance, because you have to go all the way around this barrier right here. Groove Monkey taking Zell Naga control with five Marines. Make that six. Going to pull up the production tab and see what both players are making now. So we do have that expansion coming up right now for Thy Tombstone. Groove Monkey is also making an expansion right now. He's going for sec his second gas. And he is just spamming out Marines. So I think we're probably going to see some Marine medevac here fairly soon. Groove Monkey going to push out with his army here. So Groove Monkey sitting here with 11 marines in total as opposed to Thy Tombstone's 5 marines. Thy Tombstone is getting an orbital command now on his expansion instead of his main base. 